Well, with the rise in unemployment and poverty, we've brought in today some special guests from the Employment Services of Weld County. With us today is Joe McClavely, Employment Services Technician for the Employment Services of Weld County, Barbara Kirkmeyer, Weld County Commissioner, and Raquel Guerrero, HR Assistant for Bunnell Good Samaritan. Joe, let's start off by having you give us an overview of the Employment Services of Weld County. Employment Services of Weld County has a broad menu of services for both job seekers and employers, and the vast majority are at no charge to either one. Uh, we have, I suppose for our employers, the main service would be helping them post positions, of course. Then we also offer seminars and workshops and different hiring events for them to be able to meet job seekers in the area. And for job seekers, we of course offer opportunities for their job search, but we also have a lot of workshops and training programs that they can use as well. For employers in our community, we offer qualified job candidates, and right now we have nearly 30,000 individuals that are registered through the workforce. Of that 29,000, nearly 13,000 um, have high school diplomas or GEDs, and over 9,000 have various college degrees. So that's a very qualified candidate pool for our area. In addition to that, we have hiring events where employers can get to know the job seekers in the area. We provide labor market information um, anything specific that an employer is looking for as far as wages or information um, in their hiring um their selection process we help them with. And for job seekers, we of course help them look for jobs, but we also have workshops and seminars that they can be involved with. Um, training programs like resume writing and interview skills so they can actually practice before they go out for that job interview. Also with us today is Raquel Guerrero. She's an HR assistant with Bunnell Good Samaritan. She's used a number of the services with the Employment Services of Weld County. Welcome Raquel. The Good Samaritan Society, um, the Greeley communities, includes Bonnell Campus, Fox Run Campus, and the Joe P. Martinez Campus, and we've been working with uh, Weld County Services of Employment for, a, I think, since 2002, and in that time they have filled 81 positions for us. So that's been everything from entry level, uh, cooks, dining services aides, um, housekeeping, care companions. Um, then we go into a little bit more of re registered nurses, licensed practical nurses, CNAs, um, even social service representatives, receptionists. So a lot of a wide range of variety of positions. So it's been pretty helpful. Um, there's no cost to us, so that's been really good. Um, they set up the job fairs here in town, uh, 50 plus job fair, teen job fair, um, the corporate job fair. So it allows the employer to have access to a wide range and we don't have to organize any of that and there's no cost to us. There are no fees associated um, for either the employer or the job seeker. The only time there would be a small fee is if an employer really wants to get a specific assessment test that's specifically designed for their business. There's a very easy format for them to use. They send a form and you fill it out and what we've done is fill in all of our information one time and then take that form and then fill in for each position and then fax it in. You can keep it for however many days you want it open until filled or seven days and it's convenient. Uh, when you have the other side of having to go on the internet or um, other job services that may charge, um, then this is convenient. So I would recommend it. We do offer very customized um, events for employers. Raquel mentioned the job fairs that we've done for Bonnell, but we also do job fairs for multiple employers at one time, more of a community event. And that's, as I mentioned, the 50 plus job fair that's coming up. We'll have 30 to 40 either vendors or employers at that one. We also help um, with employers bottom line. So if an employer is willing to hire somebody who maybe needs a little bit of training, we have a pool of qualified candidates that they can choose from and they get reimbursed up to 50% of the wage for that candidate. So it's really a win-win for the employer and the job seeker just needing a little bit of training. We also partner with Ames Community College. They're a great partner for our training programs. We have Work Keys and Colorado First Grants and then also Upstate Colorado. In Upstate Colorado we help either existing businesses or new businesses looking to move into the area. We provide labor market information. It could be very specific to their 
their industry or it could just be wage, what's the wage range for this type of employee. We give them information and reports on a regular basis. When an employer downsizes or chooses to close their doors, we have what we call rapid response. And we have a specialist that will go to that business and work with the employer. They might um, schedule a workshop for their employees to help register for unemployment, or there might be those classes, like I mentioned before, on resume writing or interview skills if their employers haven't been in the job market for a while and they might need help with those sort of services. But it's very specific and customized to that employer. I did want to reiterate that there are no char charges for the vast majority of our services at Employment Services of Weld County. Um, our website is eswc.org. I have mentioned a lot of our services today, but there are many more that I haven't mentioned. And for anyone that's watching that's not from the Northern Colorado area, there is an Employment Services in their county. And I would say go to your county website and then look for the Employment Services button and you'll find this information and probably more. The Board of County Commissioners plays a critical role in both economic development and workforce development, and they work closely with the economic services of Weld County. With us today is Commissioner Kirk Meyer to talk to us about some of these relationships. The Weld County Board of Commissioners does play a critical role in economic development and in workforce development issues. Employment Services is a department and vision um, underneath the Board of County Commissioners. We contract for all the federal and state dollars that come through and have to run the federal and state programs and understand what those programs are. Um, within economic development, we have some key priorities. It's retention of the jobs, retention of the employers that we do have, expansion of those that we can, and then obviously we'd like to go out and try and create new jobs and bring in new, new and more jobs into Weld County. As far as workforce development issues are concerned, we um, really look at what are the employer's needs first, you know, and, and then how can we help train certain employees or certain staff, certain folks that come into our employment services to fit those jobs. But then also we'll have folks who come into em employment services and we try and look at what they're, what needs they're at, what skill, skill level they are at, and then try and enhance those skills to make them more marketable so it's easier for them to find a job. We really look at some of the different sectors within our county and try and um, narrow the training, if you will, down to the more important sectors within our county. Again, but it's based on what the employers are telling us what their needs are. There are several opportunities for Weld County. We've been very fortunate in that we are, we consider ourselves the energy capital of Colorado, if you will. I mean, we have a lot of energy industries within Weld County. I mean, everybody's heard certainly about the Vestas um, plants that are within Weld County. We have one in the Windsor area, one in the Brighton area. Then we also have a bound solar. We also have UQM, which um, is the development of electric batteries for vehicles, which is huge down in our southwest part of the county. But also in Weld County, we have a, um, the oil and gas industry industry, which is a vital industry to Weld County. And it's been within the last 20 years, has been doing very well in Weld County, but we are looking at some new opportunities up in the northeast part of Weld County where they're opening up a whole new field, a whole new play, if you will. Um, so we're looking at job opportunities there. Right now in our energy industry, we have about 4,000 jobs in Weld County related directly to the energy industry. We anticipate with Vestas, with Abound, with UQM, and with the energy industry, that that will just double within the next few years. I mean, that's the kind of development, the type of new jobs, retention of jobs, and expansion of jobs that we have going on. So that's one area. Another area is um, recently Laprino Foods is coming to Weld County. We're very excited about that. They'll be located in the Greeley area. Um, very good for Weld County, very regional in Weld County. A lot of dairy farmers are looking forward to it. Um, they're talking about, and the Board of County Commissioners recently toured Laprino Foods down in the Denver area. It's, it's a great, company. I mean, they are great as far as community and working with the neighborhood and working within the municipality and the county. But we're looking at that the number of dairy farms within Will County and the number of dairy cattle will have to double in the next three to five years. So again, back to that whole expansion of what we already have going in Will County and just building on it and making it stronger. And then obviously there's JBS who's within Will County that is looking at expansions as well. They're in the Greeley area also, so that's another exciting prospect that's going on. But a lot, you know, going 
along our major transportation corridors. We've got a lot of um, encouragement, comprehensive planning going with our with our municipalities and involving our economic development group of upstate Colorado as well. For the employers, I would say come get to know Employment Services of Weld County. There are some great opportunities there. Come use us. Let us help you, you know, design training solutions for what you need as far as new employees coming to you. Come, come look at all the programs we have. Come look at our learning lab. Come tell us what we can do to help you meet your needs. And as far as folks who are coming to um, employment services and they're out of a job and they're unemployed or they're looking to change their job, come use us as well. I mean, we will develop programs to help you enhance the skills that you already have. We'll connect you up with um, employers that we know are looking for jobs. And it doesn't just have to be in like a certain area and just in the Greeley area. It's throughout all of Weld County. And if you need us to, we'll help you tag in with other and link in with other workforce centers throughout the state of Colorado. The Employment Services of Weld County is here to serve you in your employment needs, either as a job seeker or as an employer. You can connect with them by logging onto their website at www.eswc.org or by calling 970-353-3800.